Hello there, my fellow mechanized crustaceans, and welcome back to another lore video concerning the battle max of Battletech. Today's video is gonna be a bit more special mainly because of two reasons. One is because this episode was made outside of my regular schedule, so it is an addition and it will not subtract from anything. Two is because this episode was somewhat sponsored by one of my viewers, someone who is a big fan of the King Crab and its family. Thus, because of this sponsorship, you are getting this Crab Battle Mech video, alongside the King Crab video in the near future. Now, I've already included the King Crab in the latest poll, so you can go ahead and vote for it there if it is a mech that you like. All that being said, today we're gonna talk just about the Crab Medium Battle Mech. I am your host, the Grimdark Narrator, and without further ado, let us proceed, shall we? Designed in 2719 during the last days of the Star League, the Crab was built as a medium weight raider and guerrilla fighter for the Star League Defense Force. Although lacking hand actuators or jump jets, it possessed good overland speed, and its all-energy weapons payload was suitable for long-range missions without the prospect of resupply. The Crab also boasted a highly advanced communication system, the Dalban Series K, and was built mostly with proven parts easy to maintain. The term Crab Walk soon became synonymous with easy duty, since technicians spent less than half the time maintaining the crab than almost any other mech of the same class. So popular was the crab that many believed it was likely to become the standard media mech of the SLDF. Unfortunately, the Amaris Civil War and the dissolution of the Star League put an end to any future plans for the poor crab. Less than a thousand crabs had been produced when the succession wars began. Kosara Weaponry's Crab Factory on Northwind was essentially destroyed in 2786, one of many strategic targets attacked in the opening salvos of the First Succession War. Although dedicated technicians were able to keep portions of the assembly line open, producing what spare parts they still could to rebuild damaged crabs, the technology used for both the original's advanced armor plating and communication system became lost. Designated as CRB-20 models, these crabs were only slightly inferior to the original. With the destruction of the military infrastructure necessary for the Dalban Series K's more advanced functions to work, its replacement by lesser systems ironically became less of an issue. By the end of the Fourth Succession War, a hundred or so crabs were all that was left active in the Inner Sphere, and all of them were CRB-20s. Unknown to many, Comstar had secreted away massive stockpiles of Star League technology and mechs, including the crab. When it came time to form their own military, original CRB-27 crabs were used to outfit the Com Gods. At the same time, they gifted downgraded CRB-20s to the Draconis Combine during the War of 3039. Concurrently, the discovery of the Helm Memory Core allowed the refit line on Northwind to start upgrading the remaining downgraded crabs to their original specification. Unknown to anyone in the Inner Sphere was the continued existence of the crab in the arsenal of the clans although by the time of the clan invasion, these had been relegated to second line and garrison units. Eventually, Kosara Weaponries was able to restart production of the original crab in the 3050s, and brand new variants began to pop up. Among these were the new CRB-30s built by Comstar. It was also rumored Comstar sold these models to the rump Free Russell Hague Republic. The Crab carries two Ramtech 1200 large lasers, each housed in the claw and forearm of either arm. While excellent weapons, they are quite delicate, with the focusing mirrors liable to be knocked out of alignment if used in hand-to-hand -hand combat. 
fixing them requires the pilot to leave the cockpit and stick their head up into each arm's elbow to make the necessary adjustment. Backing up the large lasers is a series arms medium laser in the center torso. Well protected from the fusion engine and with easy access to the 16 heat sinks. Finally, an Exostar small laser in the head. A last resort weapon more suitable for fighting infantry or rioting citizens. Nine tons of ferrofibrous armor provide good protection for its size, as even the weakest locations, the left and right torso, can each survive a shot from a PPC. Originally lacking hand actuators, Kosara later provided a refit kit to install one in either or both arms. The centerpiece of the crab is its Dalban Series K communication system, with an integrated 650 R&D targeting tracking system. It monitors all radio and shortwave bands to not only determine the mech's exact location on the world, but the approximate location of the other units, friend or foe, without the use of satellites. The system was smart enough to predict enemy movements and project a path towards a given location while avoiding their notice. However, in contrast to the rest of the mech, this system was very hard to maintain, even breaking down when not in combat. As the succession wars dragged on, only the most elite and prestigious mercenary units and house regiments could maintain the system. When the last living Series K certified technician died, it soon became only a matter of guesswork. The other notable feature of the crab is its ejection system, which performs in two different modes. When an explosion is imminent, the top hatch is blown off and the seat ejected up through the roof, as commonly seen in other mechs. If more time is allowed, then the seat will instead rotate 90 degrees and eject the pilot out the back of the mech. This is a much briefer and gentler experience for the pilot, with their seat landing some 50 to 90 meters behind the crab. Some variants of this battle mech include the CRB-20. This one is a downgrade from the CRB-27 crab, first sighted in 2810. The only major modifications to the design is the use of standard armor, which reduced the overall protection of the crab, and the replacement of its electronic systems with more reliable off-the-shelf models. When Comstar gifted their crabs to the Draconis Combine, they replaced the original components with a Garrett T11B communication system, and a Garrett D2J targeting and tracking system. The CRB-27B This one is a simple upgrade utilized by the SLDF Royals concurrently with the original crab. It replaces the heat sinks with double strength models and the large lasers with ER large lasers. The CRB 30. This is a complete rework of the CRB 27 introduced in 3061. To start, the standard engine had been replaced with an extra light model. It puts this free weight to good use by replacing the twin large lasers with a pair of ER PPCs and upgrading the medium and small lasers to an ER medium laser and an ER small laser. The standard heatsinks have all been replaced by the double heatsink model, though two have been removed, so the PPCs must use a volley fire. The last part of this upgrade is the addition of a Guardian ECM suite and an improved C3 computer. The CRB-45 this variant was fielded by the Word of Blake and first spotted in 3070, making use of three light PPCs and an ER large laser, thus turning the mech into a direct fire support unit. The 45 incorporates enough heat sinks to combat all the heat the machine is capable of producing, while a larger XL engine allows speeds of up to 96 km an hour. This came at a slight decrease in armor, though the use of a heavy ferrofibrous weave helped make up the difference. A seemingly standard C3i computer allows this design to share target data with other like-equipped units. 
Another non-canon variant modified a bit by MechWarrior Online is the CRB FL Florentine. According to MechWarrior Online, this is the mech piloted by MechWarrior Judith Faber during the Battle of Tukayed. Named Florentine, this variant is a virtual mini King Crab, mounting an Ultra AC-5 in each arm, supported by a left torso-mounted LRM-5 and a right torso-mounted medium laser. Carrying one ton of LRM missiles and three tons of Ultra Autocannon rounds, the Florentine's weapon loadout is made possible through use of a 250XL engine and an endosteel frame. And this, my friends, has been what I wanted to tell you about the Crab Medium Battle Mech for today. Like I said in the beginning, whether you vote for it or not, do expect a video on the King Crab probably next week. Is the Crab among your favorite battle mechs? What do you like or dislike most about it? Let us know and discuss your thoughts on it in the comments below. Was this video informative or entertaining? In that case, please click the like button and subscribe for future content. Thank you very much for watching to the end, and I wish you all an awesome day. This is GDN signing out.